Imagine this, you're leaving your home and with just a tap on your phone, you arm your security system. Instantly, every door in your home locks automatically. Or even better, when you're coming back from a walk, you unlock your door with a key and your alarm system disarms itself without you needing to lift a finger. Sounds amazing, right? Well, in this video, we will be showing you how to do this. So today we will be talking about how the Ajax security ecosystem integrates with the smart lock system of the Yale brand. So we have today the Yale Assure Lock 2. It's a smart lock that gives you convenient and keyless access for you and anyone in your family. There are multiple ways you can customize this lock, whether you want it keyed or keyless with a touchscreen or a keypad, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, adaptability, and even having an option for fingerprint access. So for those who haven't watched our videos about Ajax, they are basically the apple of the security world, both because of their product design and their software. They have a big library of security solutions that will adjust your facility, whether it is a residential or commercial environment. Solutions ranging from smart video surveillance, fire detection, water leak prevention, intrusion protection, and so much more. Now, the reason for this video is that Ajax recently posted a new article talking about how they, being the largest manufacturer of professional security systems in Europe, will be partnered up with Yale, the leader in smart home security, which is a wow combo in my opinion. But not only that, they will be making this available in North America, finally bringing advanced smart lock solutions to users in the USA and Canada. So I had to make this video for you guys, since I've tested Ajax systems before while doing multiple videos, tens of tens of them, and I know how powerful and practical it can be. Now imagine the combination between these two systems. I am really wondering what level of efficiency will it attain? How easier will it make my life? And how big of a game changer can Ajax be while integrated with the Yale Smart Lock system? Whether you're a Yale user or an Ajax user or neither, you're just looking to get a new lock, stick around and you're gonna want to see this. So on the screen, I will leave you with a list of compatible Yale devices from which you'll be able to access the Yale Connect bridge function to integrate it with uh, the Ajax system. I will show you exactly how to do this later in the setup part, where not only we will be showing you how to integrate these two systems, but we will be testing some scenarios that are only made possible by the Ajax security ecosystem. In this case today, we have the Yale Assure Lock 2 with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. So if you noticed on the list above, these are all Wi-Fi enabled locks. So you do have to have one like those to be able to take advantage of the Ajax automations. And honestly, look, it's such a plus to have Wi-Fi connectivity on these devices as it makes it so much easier, your life, you know, by being able to remotely control these locks. Say you left home and forgot to lock your doors. This is where it could come in very handy as a function rather than only having them work on Bluetooth, which means you'll always have to be in range and near the log, otherwise it won't work. So let me show you before we get into all that, how we can set this up, okay? So before we get to the automations of the Ajax app, of course, you will need to be creating yourself an account on Yale and all that. And once you have that and it's connected to Wi-Fi, we will be opening the Ajax app and that's what I'll be showing you right now. So we will be clicking on the Ajax app. And like I said before, once you have your Yale all installed and all set up and connected to Wi-Fi, only then you will be entering the Ajax app. So once we are inside, we will go to devices, we'll go all the way uh, downstairs, and then we will click add device. Once we do this, there's gonna be a little icon right here on the bottom that says add third party device. Right here, we have the option of Yale smart lock, so we'll be going ahead and clicking that. Then we have Yale Access USA and Canada, for which is the reason I'm making this video and I'm so excited that we have finally this option. So we click on that. And then it's gonna take us to uh, Augustus' home. So in my case, I will be entering mine. So it's gonna send us a code to our phone. Okay, here it is. 842-367, 842-367. Verify, that's it. So 
it's gonna ask us to allow Ajax to see our name, email, phone, this and that. So we agree. And there it is. It's going to automatically detect the device. And right away, it says available for adding. So we're just gonna click on it, click on next. And then we'll be able to name it, whether it's gonna be for our front door, or our garage door, or even our back door. Just for the sake of simplicity, I'll leave it as front door. And then we're just gonna click on add device. And there we go. The device is successfully been added to our Ajax security ecosystem. So as we can see right now, it already detects that is locked. Right, so just for the sakes of testing and to see that it's actually been added successfully, just gonna click on this little green uh, notch and it should unlock. And there it is, it unlocked and it has been successfully connected to the Ajax app. And now I wanna show you the beautiful part about this, the automations that are made possible by Ajax. This is the most interesting part and the part that I'm dying to tell you about. Okay, so now to the automations. To access the automations, you'll have to click on the front door lock. We're gonna go ahead and click on the little icon, the, the little mechanic gear icon on the top right. So we're gonna see here scenarios. So we're gonna click on that. And then it says create scenario. We have two scenarios that we will be able to choose from, either by arming and disarming, and then by device actuation. I will explain what each of them means. Let's start with by arming and disarming. So by arming and disarming, it means that you can set it up so that when you arrive home, you can use your phone to directly disarm your whole security system. Your lock will automatically unlock without the use of entering your key, your code, or even getting in the Yale app to unlock your, your lock. The same thing goes for when you leave your house. There is even a night mode function where by enabling it, you can set up a schedule for your doors to lock automatically after a certain time, which you can't do on the Yale app. There, you can only automate the door to lock automatically anywhere from 10 seconds after unlocking to 30 minutes. So let me show you how this works. So if we click by arming and disarming, right? We will be able to name this scenario. So let's say um, getting home. We'll put this name like this, and then we will go like, so for example, when we get home, we want ideally for the lock to unlock. So, so when arming, it's gonna lock, and when disarming, it's gonna unlock. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna click on save, and now get, getting home is gonna be activated, which means every time you get home and you disarm your, uh, your security system, this is automatically going to unlock. The same thing goes, like I said before, if you get out of your house and you arm your system, it's automatically gonna lock, which is one automation that really drives me nuts. Let me demonstrate this very quick for you guys. Since we already added it, we're gonna go to control, for example, and now our system is disarmed, as we see it right now. So we're gonna go ahead and click on arm. All of our system is armed. We're gonna arm anyways. And now that it's armed, it should lock. Like it did right now. Perfect. So we're gonna do the same thing. Imagine I am coming back home from my work, super tired, and I just don't wanna pull out my keys. I don't wanna pull out the code. I just wanna get on my phone and just tap in disarm. And there it is. You just don't do anything else. You just go ahead and enter. And it's all powered by Wi-Fi. One thing only and so simple to do. Wonderful. So now that we have the first automation dealt down, let's go to the second one. We're gonna click on front door, click on the little gear icon, scenarios, add scenario, and here we have by device actuation, which basically means that if you don't wanna pull up your phone and then interact with the Ajax system and the Yale through the app, then you're just gonna go ahead and interact directly with the device, and it's gonna automatically disarm the system. Uh, when you unlock it. So let me show you how you're gonna do this automation. We're gonna click by device actuation, and then it says right here, when we unlock the device, which is if smart lock is unlocked, we want the security state to change to disarm. We're gonna name this coming home. Wonderful, we click on save. We're gonna go be going back. And right here, we're gonna arm the system to test this out. So we arm it according to 
our ladder automation, it's gonna automatically arm the system. And now say we're coming back home, right? As the scenario states, we don't wanna use the app. We just wanna do this manually. We click on the yield icon. We put our code that I already set up in the beginning. Click this. It unlocks here and in the app, it automatically disarms the system. And that is the beauty. There you go, guys. Those are the two automations that you can get through the Ajax system that really are a game changer for me that are not really available within the Ajax app, uh, within the Yale app, but they are available within the Ajax ecosystem. So why is this such a breakthrough? Because it allows centralized control over your security devices. This way you only get notified through one app and it's all connected as part of a network. It's just way more comfortable. That's why people love Apple and how all of their devices are just amazingly connected. From the way your AirPods connect right away to your phone to the airdrop sharing information feature and so much more. This is just to give you a perspective of why it's such a great thing to have. I am really happy that they finally announced this partnership and made this available nationwide. I do believe that this can make a great difference, especially for users that are in the Ajax system and are looking to upgrade their security. And the same goes for those who don't have Ajax. If you want a pro security system that keeps you and your family safe, it is the option to get. So guys, this is all for today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to like and leave us a comment telling us if you're an Ajax or a Yale user, uh, because we would like to know, as we expect to make a Yale lock review eventually if you guys want, like, uh, want us to do it. So leave us a comment down below if you wanna see that content and be sure to subscribe in order to get notifications from that video that we will be releasing soon. Thank you so much. Till next time.